Hey guys, it's Type99 Arasaka, and I got some interesting things to show you today. As you can see, I hope you can see. If you can't see, you're blind as a bat. Okay. Um, let the stupid car pass by. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, what you see in front of me is longer at two letter openers. I don't know about this stupid grass one and this this pistol isn't but it came with it so yeah. Picked them up off an eBay, thought they were pretty interesting. Haven't even heard about them or anything. I actually seen this one right here. Uh another one for sale and they wanted like forty five dollars for just this one. I got all these. Anyways, um, stupid dog. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, that stupid dog won't shut up. Anyways, want first show you my M1 Grand one. God, I want dumb dog. Anyways. I want to show you my Emily Grand letter opener from World War II. Here. I'm not even sure you can read that. I mean, this is like an extra small print. Something about the, I believe it was made in the Grand Canyon or some museum or something. I bet you back in the 1940s these were pretty popular and yeah this is I believe this is just like pop metal but it was lost with um, some brass or some copper I don't know pretty interesting you got the whole design down pretty good yeah okay And let me show you, now that I showed you my M1 Grand um, letter opener, I got another M1 Grand letter opener, but it's missing the bayonet, which, yeah, now I can't open letters, but still pretty cool, still one over there too. I believe this one's just painted. Yeah, a little roughed up, but not bad for thirty dollars. Speaking, one alone of these is like four or five dollars. I showed you, okay. And these dogs will not shut up. It's ticking me off. Anyways, uh, this is I do not know what this is. So this is where you guys can help me out. It's missing an emblem right here. Uh, is it a Carcano, a 1903 Springfield? If it's a 1903 Springfield, it's a pretty crappy job of one. Looks more like a Carcano, but why would why would America make a Carcano one? Letter opener. Yeah, this is, I believe it's copper washed. This one's pretty nice, so. It is bolt action, as you can see, but, yeah, I don't know what it is. Um, okay, here's even nicer one than that. This actually came from Miami, Florida, as you can see there. Yeah, these gun lighter openers came from... Washington, D.C., Grand Canyon, Florida, every, I believe... All, a bunch of museums also there's not much history or there is a lot of history behind these but you can't really find it on the internet here it's the same gun as the last time I showed you white rear Carcano 1903 it is very nice so I will admit that okay what else haven't I showed you? 
Oh, this little interesting thing right here. A little revolver. It looks like a little Smith & Wesson or something. Guarantee you this is World War II, but maybe for a little child. I don't know. Sure in the heck is it a letter opener. It's rusted up pretty good. I'm not going to take the patina off it, though. I'm not going to clean them all up. But you see, you can see the shiny thing on the barrel. How it used to be. Now it's like this. Yeah. Okay. This is... I don't even know what the heck I call this. It's an owl. It's a little hook. I think. It's an owl. It's kind of interesting, though. And it has this like, I don't know what blade you call it, a scimitar or something, whatever that type of blade is. It looks like it came from some Arab country or something. But actually, if you turn it on the back like so, yeah this is all brass I believe too. This says England, can you see that? Yeah you can. This says England, so it must have been made in England. It's pretty nice, though. I haven't seen very many letter openers. Not that I'm just not really interested in them. I just, I like these gun ones, and this and the little pistol came with it on eBay. Pretty interesting. And now I'm going to show you guys opening letters with them. I don't know, just for the heck of it. Okay, just got a small pile of letters. And I'm going to test out these letter openers. Show you how you're supposed to use them. I don't think many people even use letters now, but... Wait, I think you're supposed to do it like this. Like that. Sorry, I'm trying to do this behind the camera when a big camera is in my face, and yeah, you would read your mail like that. Okay, I just got a couple of them just to show you what they do. Here's the night someone grand. By the way, this stuff is like two pounds, so yeah, it's pretty heavy stuff. Ooh, kind of ripped it there. Yeah, kind of failed there but you get the idea behind it okay I'm gonna show you one more just for the heck of it and show you the way most people used to do it besides you stupid letter openers wait might want to do it the other way the heck this blade isn't let me try from the other side. Yeah, this play is kind of crappy. It's oh yeah, that, that was a fail too. But they're more of novelties now than actually using them. And this is how most people used to do it. My dad said used to take one of the sides. I guess. Uh, kind of failing on this. So you're supposed to rip it all at once, but and then you would what is it? take your mail like that. Yep. Let me just line these up one more time so you can guys can see them. Sorry for the distractions in the background. Can't help that. Seems like every time. And today I came out outside. I mean, at like 10 in the morning, just so I couldn't hear any distractions or anything. And guess what happens? Yeah. Okay. Um. Hope you guys enjoy this video. And thanks for watching. Just so you can see again. Right, let me, there you go, you can see it better. So you can see them by, side by side. 
little owl. Where's the pit? Where did the pistol go? Oh yeah, there's a little pistol. Hope you guys like it. Thought it was pretty interesting. To all the gun guys out there. I'm into guns a lot. But